so what's the deal with kale? Is it one of those just trends or is it actually a superfood? So the short answer is yes, kale is awesome. It's actually one of the most nutrient dense foods you can buy at the grocery store. So in this video, you're gonna learn about why kale is awesome. And it's not only because it has a ton of nutrients and it's low in calories, though that does help. So let's get started. So kale belongs to what's called the cruciferous vegetable family. Other cruciferous vegetables you might know of are collard greens, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. So all good healthy foods for you. So let's go over some of the top benefits of what eating kale can do for you. First off, it helps improve your brain health. Kale is high in a bunch of flavonoids, carotenoids, and vitamins, which leads them to have anti-inflammatory properties, which helps to reduce free radicals in your body, and pretty much have an anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, inflammatory antioxidant effect on your body. And so for your brain, it actually has been shown that the properties in kale can actually have a neuroprotective effect and protect tumors from growing in your brain, which is pretty awesome. And while kale is actually really low in fat, it does contain healthy omega-3 fatty acids, and those are good for your memory, for cognitive functioning. So pretty much kale is good for your brain. Kale is also great for your bone health. Kale is a good source of calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium, and those all play an essential role in the modulation and creation of dense bones. Kale is also great for your heart health and for preventing cardiovascular disease. Shocker, kale is good for you, I know. <laughs> so there's actually a scientific trial where subjects were given 150 milliliters of kale juice over the course of 12 weeks and showed a decrease in their LDL levels, which is their bad type of cholesterol. Plus it gave subjects a boost in their antioxidant systems, which actually plays a big role in reducing cardiovascular disease. Kale is also a really good source of potassium, which plays a huge role in lowering your blood pressure. We all have heard that salt and eating too much sodium increases our blood pressure, while potassium naturally reduces that as well and kind of balances out the sodium. And in fact, there's also been multiple studies that have shown this kale also helps to reduce blood pressure. Kale also has what's called bile sequestrants, which help to lower your blood cholesterol. And so you're watching this, you're thinking, oh wow, kale is awesome, but I really don't like the taste. I have a kiwi and kale smoothie that you can barely taste the kale in there, just throw it on in there and it's a really tasty meal. So let's talk about skin health as well because you know kale is good for your skin health too. So kale contains beta carotene that in your body gets converted into vitamin A and it plays a big role in the softening of our nails and our skin. Plus it has vitamin C which is important in the building of collagen in our body which is very important to skin elasticity among other things. Along with the beta carotene, kale is also high in other carotenoids that help with eye health, specifically help with the age-related macular degeneration and cataracts. And in addition to the beta carotene, kale is also high in vitamin C, E and zinc, and those are all really helpful with eye health. And then with any cruciferous vegetables, it's gonna be very helpful and beneficial for your liver. And that is because it reduces oxidative stress in the body. So I don't like to say the word detoxify very often, but if your diet is full of a lot of processed fast foods, having kale will actually help to kind of detoxify your liver by helping with that oxidative stress. And so let's get this straight. I am not advocating going and having a kale juice cleanse. Adding in kale, to a normal healthy lifestyle is a great idea. And I have a whole five day anti-inflammatory meal plan that incorporates kale that I think you should check out if you wanna start learning how to incorporate it. All right, so what about kale and weight loss? Because you know, it all comes back down to the weight loss, right? <laughs> so kale is actually really beneficial. It's high in fiber and low in calories, making it a great food to add to your diet. Plus the fiber is gonna help with your digestive system. It's gonna help keep you from being bloated and inflamed. And so especially if you're having it like boiled Oiled or quickly sauteed, those are very easy ways to make kale that are gonna be low in added calories. By the way, I have a seven day meal prep for weight loss and that has kale in the recipe. So let's talk a little bit more about that fiber because it really helps with digestion. So that fiber helps increase the bulk in your digestive system, which helps move foods along instead of getting stuck and causing irritation and inflammation. And that's gonna help you from becoming constipated and having more regular bowel movement. And that is very important for a number of reasons, ranging from weight loss to to preventing cancer. So definitely you wanna be focusing on having normal bowel movements. And let's talk about immunity as well because kale with all of its antioxidants and helpful nutrients and minerals 
It is a really bonus power pack food for improving your immunity. It's an excellent source of vitamin C, which we know helps with improving our immunity. And that's because it actually helps with modulating our immune system's responses to threats. So if you're looking for further help on how to start incorporating healthy foods that are whole and nutrient dense into your daily lifestyle, in an effort to reduce inflammation and just feel better. Check out my 30 day healthy program and I will see you in the next video.